In this tutorial, you'll learn to set up a domain name for your website. So you'll learn how to get your own .com or .net or any other extension and link that to your website. There are plenty of options for registering a name. I like to use Namecheap, but GoDaddy is good as well. There's also Google domains and I've heard good things about Porkbarn and Gandhi. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm going to use Namecheap for this example. It's always good to keep your domain under your own control and your own ownership. Keep it separate from your hosting. This makes it easy to change hosts. It avoids hosts or third party designers or developers from holding your name hostage and potentially locking you into their services. If you hold your name under your own account, under your own uh, registration, then it's very easy to keep control over your name. So very important to learn how to do this. In this example, let's register ideaspot.site over at namecheap.com. So let's get started. Over on namecheap.com, I want ideaspot.site. So I'll pop that in and press search. And that will pop up here. If it's free, it's got that green tick and I'm working in Australian dollars here. So just choose your currency there and add that to the cart. After adding that to the cart, then we can go ahead and we can view the cart there or we can go down here to the checkout button and go to the checkout. And here we go, we've got our checkout, we can confirm the order and then wait for that to load up. We can either sign into an account or we can create a new account here, but I've already got an account, so I'm gonna sign in here and you'll get a verification to your email. Just paste that verification code in and click submit. Now this is where we choose our payment method. So just pop in your payment details there and we click continue. Now we do a I am human test. So just go ahead and go through that. After that, then we confirm our order. We click pay now. So just let that process, you'll get a thank you message and it'll also say we can set up our DNS. So that means linking the name to our actual website. So it's gonna give us a training video here that we can watch and learn how to do this, but really it's quite easy. Let's go to account and go to our domain list here. From here, we can see a few details. We can set auto renew if we want, we can manage. Let's click that one. From here, our name servers, we wanna set this to basic DNS. There's a few options here, but just make sure that one is set to basic. And then we go ahead and go to advanced DNS here. And this is where we set up our DNS. So just wait for that to load up. Now we'll see some records in our DNS manager already. These are the default ones that park the domain to Namecheap. We're gonna delete those default ones out. We're gonna add in our own records to point this name over to our website. So you'll need to get your IP address here and add an A record. So I'm gonna add an A record here. So click that one, choose A record. The host is gonna be at and the IP address is our website. You can get that from your website's control panel. And then we're gonna add another one, a C name here. So we'll get that one, we'll choose www here, and we're gonna target that straight to our domain name. So ideaspot.site in this case, but put your name in there and click the tick there. That looks all good. If you can't find your IP address, I'll put some links in the description to some common web hosts so you can find it that way. But usually it's pretty easy to find through your web hosting control panel. There's also a few templates set up already. If you click this DNS templates up the top here, you'll find uh, Shopify, Weebly and Wix are already there. If you happen to be using them, you can use that template. Otherwise, just use the IP address manually like we just did. So you'll need to wait about 30 minutes, maybe less, maybe more for this to actually start working. And you'll obviously need web hosting like we've got here for this IP address. If you don't have web hosting, check out my tutorials where I set up my preferred web hosts. I've got one for Cloudways here and one for SiteGround here as well. So check those out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.